y'all welcome back to another video in today's video i will be doing a recreated duck set here's the picture so y'all can see what we are going for i think i did really really good especially with the shape i tried some new things as y'all would see it later down in the video not much just really one thing but it has to do with the e-filing and all of that so i'll get to that when we get there i do want to say i do sound a little congested i'm sorry y'all i'm a little I'm a little sick, not sick, sick. I just got the sniffles. My nose is runny and stuff, you know, TMI. But I'm doing good. It's okay. I just, you know, man, I've been taking my medicine and pushing through. For this set, we did go with a more pinkish base. I did mix this color, and I'm not really a big fan of it. I just find that sometimes when I mix colors, especially with a clear base, it'll kind of like be too sheer. Like the color will only be in one spot. And then as I move the color down, it'll get more clear. So I find when I'm working with acrylics like this, I like to work in smaller beads to make sure that that color is covering every bit of that nail. But for the most part, it still came out good. I wasn't really too worried about it because majority of the set is covered with like stones and nail art and to me you really couldn't tell that it was sheer in some areas and a little more opaque with the color in other areas when working with the acrylic you want to make sure that that acrylic stays up on top of that nail tip you don't want it going too out too wide you want it right up against that nail tip and i just use the body of my brush just to pat the sides to make sure that everything is aligned with each other and flush but when it comes to my cuticle bead i'm making sure to put it right up underneath the cuticle not touching the cuticle and i'll use the tip of my brush to just push the excess acrylic that's there towards the cuticle and it's okay if you do flood it i do recommend just wiping your brush on your paper towel and using the tip of it as you see me doing now to kind of break it away from the skin if you don't get all of it that is still okay because you can come back with your e-file just to seal the cuticle to make sure everything is good and to prevent lifting so y'all wanted to say i'm a little sorry for being a little m.i.a whatever you know I, I did say i'm a little sick with a little sniffles you know i just kind of been working on progressing my business and stuff so i've been looking into some new things and basically just reinventing my business and how it looks to the public so i've been working on a book and it will be a financial and social media planner basically so i'm working on that um right now i'm going to upload it as a digital copy so y'all can download it and you know you can work on it on your ipad your phones or whatever the case may be but i will later down the road um maybe turn it into a hard copy book i'm excited i'm really excited the design is looking really good if y'all would be interested in purchasing it i will have it available for y'all whenever it is done i'm still working on it right now so y'all just bear with me because you know i am one person and i'm doing a lot of things not really like i have a lot of jobs i do my art my nails i i'm in school i do hair but it's not to the point where i'm just doing stuff every single day like with my art i made it a mission to not kind of make that my priority business in a sense like i'm not really i'm gonna say promoting it in a way where i need to be getting orders every day i'm okay with my orders here and there i'll get maybe two to three commission arts a month and that's okay for me right now then my nails you know i do my nails full time but i do be having my off days like sometimes sometimes i'll be having like two three off days in a week and that's only really because i kind of just moved back to texas so i'm still trying to build up my clientele and things like that but i'm doing a lot but not to the point to where everything is just a load like for today and tomorrow, these are my two off days of the week. You know, Thanksgiving is next week. So everybody is about to start booking their appointments. And usually my clients really only book their appointments during the weekend. 
which is okay to me because I don't go outside. I don't have a life for real, you know. If I'm not with my son or my boyfriend, y'all, I'm not doing nothing, okay? So, yeah, I just be home. So, I'm just working on this book. Back to this book. Back to this planner. I'm working on this planner. I'm so super, super excited to drop it for y'all. And something had to be done because I was going to go buy a planner but then when I was looking at them, I was like, oh, these are all cute and stuff. And let me make my own. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what we doing. That's what's happening. So, if y'all would be interested, just let me know. I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch the rest of this application process through. to add a quick note and say while i am applying my acrylic i am making sure to always wipe my brush in my paper towel dip it in my monomer wipe it in my paper towel i just want to get as much of that acrylic from within my brush out i don't want any of that caking up because later down the road it'll be a hassle trying to clean it up then if you set it to the side let it sit there till your next client come it may be caked up and dried up and now you have to buy a new brush so in a new video i plan to show my face you guys so i will be giving y'all some insight on first products very very beginner things like i'm gonna show y'all all the products that y'all should be getting beginning out and all of that good stuff all the good tea all the good tips and the best part about it is y'all will finally see my face so i'm excited about that i've been planning for that video i've been writing all my notes down that's exact. that's why i am making the planner i genuinely made the planner for myself but i was like this is too cute to not like have somebody else have it you know so that's how all of that came about
now I'm going in with my Panda 8080 grit file. It is cut in half because I use a new one for each client. And I also feel that it works way better cutting it in half. So you don't have the hassle of your file kind of bending towards the middle. But I'm making sure that I'm right up against the nail. And since these are duck nails, I have the upper part of my file faced inward. And I'm still going in that up and down diagonal straight right up against that nail motion if you understand what i'm saying <laughs> then i'm also kind of filing underneath but not too much because these kind of curve and i like the curvature of it so i kind of just file right where the acrylic and the skin is underneath just to break it away To the e-filing i have my e-file set to 18,000 rpm now if you are a beginner i do recommend starting out at 10 and working your way up so now i'm just making sure to clean up underneath the nail making sure that everything is straight and not jagged i do make sure that the curve underneath it's not really a c curve it's more of a widened c so i still make sure everything under there is straight then I touch the edges. So what I mentioned before is I was trying new things when it comes to dug nails. So now I'll kind of tap the edges to kind of taper it inward in the middle. I don't know if that makes sense. So that it doesn't just go straight out from the skin. It kind of like has like this hourglass feel to it. And I kind of like the way that came out. So since I have done this, this was my first set that I tried this on. And I like it. So I will be doing that from now on. But I just went over the nail with my e-file just to clean everything up and to also seal the cuticles. I use this bit for all of that. So when I go to seal the cuticles, please make sure when you do get this bit, make sure you do tease the top edge. And what that means is basically just get a hand file, turn your e-file on maybe 5,000 RPM, and then hold the very edge of your drill bit on the nail file. Now, I will show y'all this in the video that I mentioned earlier with my face in it and all the beginner tea and tips. I will show y'all everything y'all need to know. Okay, we're going to get in depth. We're going to get into it. All right. We're going to become professionals in one video. Now I'm just playing. But I will give y'all the tools to become a professional. I'm not a professional, but you know, y'all, I am on my way. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give myself credit where it's due. <laughs> I am on my way. All right. So yeah, y'all, y'all stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch the rest of this filing process through. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to the nail art.
just now I am going in with my model loans or model loans blooming gel. I got it off of Amazon. I was kind of just trying some things out and I actually like it a lot. As y'all can see, it is blooming. Okay. And the white, I'll have that also linked down in the description. I got that off of Amazon. Um, I will also have my lined nail brushes. I kind of only use this one like for every nail art i'll use some smaller ones when it comes to tedious things but i pretty much use this one for every single thing and it hasn't stayed me wrong yet i actually got these when i first started doing them so these have a four-year limit on them they doing their thing you know because i haven't bought any more brushes all of the brushes that i have i've been have really been sent to me in like packages and stuff like that but i'm just making this one a french nail i'm going ahead and being lazy and taking that brush to fill that in because who wants to use this little skinny brush to fill all of that in nobody and i'm making sure to wipe the edges just to make sure that that gel polish don't steer from the actual shape of the nail we want to keep everything crisp and cut you know for the final result I am going in with my McCart's glue. I got this off of Amazon as well. This is my go-to glue. I'm telling y'all, these stones is not going to come off. The only way they're going to come off is if you slam your hand in the door or something tragic has happened. But for me, they be staying on. I'll say, as you can see on my right hand, some of my stones have fell off. But I done knocked them into doors. I done slammed them in things. But this is my right hand too. So, you know, yeah, that's that's... I don't have any words for that, honestly. <laughs> but as you can see, my left hand, the blue hand, all my stones, everything is still intact. So this glue be working and my nails have been on for about five weeks now. I know it's time for a fill. I know, but you know, I told you I'll be busy. I'm trying to do some things and finish some things. My nails gonna come. They gonna come. <laughs> so I'm just making sure to place all of the stones in place. I like to place my bigger chunky stuff first and then go back in and fill in with the little stones. It's just more easier for me that way. And I feel like the placement is way better. Then for the thumb, I'm doing the same thing. Just placing all the big stuff first and then going in with the little ones. And that will complete the set, y'all. I appreciate y'all so, so much for watching and staying tuned, talking to me, asking me questions. I am here for y'all, and y'all are here for me. It's a wonderful community, okay? Ooh, that's a slogan, and I'm keeping it. All right, all right, y'all. Let's, let's get it. <laughs> Let me shut up. But I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. See y'all in my next video.